What's up everyone? Today is September 21st and I'm on my way down to Missouri to meet up with Ted and Warp to do some hunting down there through the end of the month. I've been in the warehouse most of the fall. Uh, I got out one weekend for opener in Wisconsin with my dad. Didn't have any luck, found some good spots, but didn't end up seeing any bucks. I wanna say thanks to everyone who helped support the channel, ordering from our store, helps keep the wheels moving on the deer tour. So if you're looking to get some THP merch, we got a great selection of stuff and a lot of new stuff coming this fall. So just head over to thehuntingpublic.com, use code Hayden, they'll save you 10%. Pretty excited about this trip. Last year I spent quite a bit of time down in Missouri. Had a lot of close calls, but never ended up filling my tag. So hoping for a little better outcome this year. Ted and I are meeting up and we're gonna start hunting tonight. And then Warb's gonna join up with us on Monday. So it's pretty warm. It's gonna get up into the mid eighties throughout the weekend. Rain shower here and there. But then after that, the temps should start cooling down. I think we're gonna start tonight at a bedding area that I know was holding mature bucks last year. And then after that, just start covering ground, trying to find Fresh acorns, uh, it sounds like the soybeans are already drying up down there, so focusing on acorns, clover, persimmons, try to find the hot food source in areas that bucks are bedded, so should be a good time. I didn't get to join much on turkey season this year, so I'm looking forward to meeting up with the guys and doing some hunting again, and hopefully we can get into some bucks. Made a pit stop at Culver's to grab some lunch. I got a little weak spot for Culver's. In my opinion, the best fast food you can buy, so getting fueled up, gonna meet up with Ted and hit the woods. Welcome. <laughs> you hear me ripping all Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was flying up to the ground. Like three does right back there. Really? Mm -hmm. That's public. Right, yeah, they're right on the public. On the public side of the road, even? There was two, like, fawns on the private side, and then one, the big doe was on the public side. That's back good there in the So they're around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're here. They're ready for us. Right, ready, get ready. Sounds good. I'm ready when you are. <laughs> I shot the bow and we're dialed, so Perfect. we get the opportunity. That's always a good start. <laughs> Alright, it's about 5.15, Ted just rolled in. Got a couple hours to hunt. We don't have any intel from this year. We, have, we haven't done any scouting, but I hunted this area quite a bit last year, so we're going to go into an area that I know there was bucks bedded at last year. Just try to still hunt our way in there and then set up pretty tight to that bedding for the evening. So. We got nine days to hunt. This is day one. Kind of getting aggressive on the first day just based off of old knowledge, but the next couple of days probably cover quite a bit of ground and try to find where the bucks are at. But I think there's a pretty good chance there could be one in this bedding area, and the wind sets up perfect. It's a really thick west-facing ridge, and it's been an east wind all day. So we're going to slide in there, see if we can get lucky tonight, and if not, we'll be huffing it around tomorrow. feeding sign. Looks like the acorns just started dropping recently. All right, let's keep moving. I think, I mean, if we hit a feed tree that there's tons of sign under before we get to where we're going, we'll stop there, but there's a decent chance we might. Yeah, 
pretty close to the road so I didn't want to stop and spook him away from the public because he might very well work his way work his way onto this little piece we're gonna hunt so if he does he's in trouble all right it's the first full day here in Missouri Ted and I went in for a quick hunt last night Ended up seeing a handful of deer and probably went past a couple spots we should have set up and ended up not seeing anything where we eventually did set up. But this morning we got to a high knob and just observed a little bit but couldn't see as much as we'd hoped. So we just started still hunting through this bottom. We popped up by this pond here and there was a fawn and a doe and they eventually worked off. It's supposed to rain on and off the next three to four days. I think there's rain coming through at about 11 today. So we're going to cruise around until it starts raining and check a bunch of these bedding areas for sign on the outskirts and try to come up with a plan for the evening. I think if we don't find anything, we'll probably try to get somewhere where we can observe this evening, but hopefully we run into some hot sign. We also did find like two spots yesterday that wouldn't be bad for us to set up this evening either. There's a couple fresh scrapes and persimmon tree and acorns dropping. So Warb's out cruising around right now. He's going to go check out a couple different areas and potentially meet up with us later this afternoon. Hopefully we can find some good stuff before he joins up with us or he finds something exciting for us to move places. So we're just going to cover a lot of ground and try to find some sign. Well, I'm in here doing some scouting today. I'm just up the road from Hayden and Ted. They're out hunting right now. As we usually do, whenever we come into new areas, we spend most of the first part of the first week scouting. As you can see right here, I'm in kind of a flat lowland area with a bunch of timber in it. On the private land surrounding this, there is ag fields with soybeans that have just turned and they're, they've actually already dropped most of their leaves and they're starting to turn brown. So I would say the next cold snap or two that we get, those deer will be back on those soybeans. It seems like they, they don't like them as much when they're turning yellow, but after the leaves fall and they dry down, turn brown, the deer head back to them. Hayden found some persimmons yesterday that the deer were hammering. They're also on acorns right now. Not really sure what I'm going to find. I've been elk hunting with my cousin for the last two weeks, so I'm running a little bit behind on my scouting. But just trying to get out today and cover as much ground as possible. Saw a fresh rub a while ago and a big set of tracks in here on a trail in these woods. But you can tell these woods ain't real thick behind me. I need to find a little better, more suitable bedding cover. That one's a few weeks old, but good rub nonetheless and found some big tracks right here in this bottom. Just found this old climber right here. Looks pretty old. The seat's all rotted on it. They got screw-in pegs going up the tree, but they took their pegs when they left. However, the tree is healed back, and you can see that it's been a couple years since anybody's hunted this thing. Maybe it's in a good spot. I just jumped a big buck right out of this edge behind me. It's probably too dark, you probably can't see it, but I'll show you here. It's just scouting into the wind up this transition from beans to woods and the only really thick place for him to bed is just right here in the edge i mean there's like 10 feet of thick cover where there's enough sunlight getting to the ground and he was laying right behind me here in this little hole open woods are back there thick cover right here bed right here field right here i don't think he smelled me but he definitely saw me because he got up about 20 yards from me off across these beans. 
Then he ducked back into the timber down there. So I'm gonna mark this spot and get the heck out of here. I just got a text from Hayden. He said that him and Ted found a bunch of really hot signs. So that's a good sign for tonight. Guess what? What? Somebody stole our cooler. Oh, I was wondering why you put it in your car. <laughs> nice. Somebody stole our cooler and our bow target. Awesome. Yeah, grand. No, it's great. That's yeah. great, yeah. Should we try to drive around and find them? I bet it's one of these people that live around here. I would assume, yeah. All right, so you got no food left then? No. Nice. I got an extra target, so we're good there. Yeah, we're good with that. I pulled in, I was like, wait, did I put my cooler in the back in the car? And uh -huh. I was like, no, I left it sitting there. Cause I, we'd been leaving, we've been leaving the car here. Yeah, I guess we should have brought a car should've back left here. left the car. Yeah. Dang. Only been gone for like 30 minutes maybe. Yeah, not even. Without a car here. Why do y'all people gotta do that? It's not cool. No. Seriously not cool. Great wind too. Wow. Ted and I have been cruising around, covered quite a bit of ground so far and haven't found anything that exciting yet, but we just hit this field edge and it's got hay mixed in with like clover and like a few strips of beans and the beans are browsed down to about nothing. And just behind us a couple hundred yards, we saw two different ground scrapes and then just came up on this pretty fresh rub, which is the first rub we've seen. Pond down in here that I've seen deer bed around that pond before, but it seems like this might be a good spot to observe this field and see if we can see where one's coming out of this evening. I'd say this is probably the best stuff we've found so far. Definitely the freshest sign we've yeah. found. Yeah, yeah. Found a pretty fresh scrape yesterday, but we kind of blew those deer <laughs> out, so. We didn't know that scrape was there until we already blew those deer out. Yeah. That was mistake number one, but I don't know, this feels good. So far, top of the list of options for this evening. about 4.15 right now. Ted and I are sliding into the spot that we found mid-morning when we were scouting. Up top on this ridge, there's a bean field that has clover mixed into it, two really fresh rubs, and a bunch of scrapes on this field edge. We originally wanted to get tucked in really close to where those scrapes were, but the wind switched and it wasn't quite gonna work. So we decided to come in from the back and then set up where the wind's not gonna blow out as much of that bedding and do a mixture of observe and also potentially be in the game. But hopefully we can get eyes on something and learn something for tomorrow, but there's a chance it. That... Is that an acorn? I think so. Looks like it. A bunch of them up in that tree right there. Yeah. Oh, and there was acorns and persimmons in this spot too, so it's pretty much got everything you'd want. Acorns, persimmons, beans. Cover, water. Fresh buck sign. Fresh buck sign. So we're pretty hopeful about tonight's sit. So we're gonna climb up in there, run a little bit behind because I forgot things at my truck. It was supposed to rain pretty hard midday today, but that never came through. So we were kind of just hanging out at camp waiting for that to roll by, but we got blue skies that's heading our way. So even if it does rain right now, it should be pretty, pretty sparse. So should be a good evening. Up 
the nose of this ridge with the wind in our face. We ended up bumping one doe. We got set up in this back corner of this bean field that we found all that sign earlier today. There's definitely a bunch of browse pressure on this edge and you can see a pretty big rub about 50 yards away. Don't have a ton of shot opportunities, but we can see a decent amount of this field, so hopefully we can at least learn something. I think it was a good call that we called an audible and went to this location instead of what we were thinking about earlier, because there's definitely a lot of east in the wind that would have blown into the bedding area we expected the deer to come from. So playing it a little safer, see if we can learn something and put the pieces together for the next couple days, but hopefully one comes out and works its way to this corner. Warb saw a pretty big buck earlier today when he was out scouting as well, so probably stay in this location through the weekend and once Warp can join we'll touch base with him and see what we want to do after that but looks like we got good weather tomorrow and Sunday it's going to start raining pretty hard so might get washed out Sunday but hopefully we can put it together these next couple days. That's going to do it for the first evening. Ended up seeing two does and a small buck. So not what we really hoped, but there's definitely deer in this area. There's tons of browse pressure on this field. There's tons of buck sign. We may come back in this area. Not sure what our plan is for the morning yet, but we're going to jet out of here and head back to camp and make some tacos and come up with a plan for tomorrow. We're either going to go observe where Warp saw that big buck today, or maybe try to slip in tight to where we think these bucks are bedded. We'll see, but we're going to go grab some food. Sounds splendid to me. I'm pretty hungry. I'm getting there. It's on the spigot tonight. We've got some tacos with some corn and tomatoes. Gotta refuel. It's been a lot of energy today. But we got our steps in today. <laughs> yeah, probably get just as many tomorrow too. Because if we still don't have really much figured out yet. <laughs> <laughs> that was only day one. <laughs> That's true. Well, uh, day one and a half. One and a half. I'll call it day one. Yeah. Yesterday didn't count. Taco time. Need it. The staple on the road, tacos. Oh yeah, my favorite. 